Hey guys, I'd like to take you through the uh, top 10 picking patterns that I know that I think are valuable for anyone that wants to learn how to pick on the guitar. And I think they um, kind of capture the broad range of styles that uh, you could go into when you, wanted to, when you want to learn picking patterns. So what I've got set up is we're going to have a series of uh, 10 picking patterns, starting with the first one today. Um, so we'll have 10 lessons on that and just to get you um, going in picking and um, I only go through uh, several in the advanced book for um, just to get started in picking patterns in the different styles but uh, I think this is really helpful if you want to get into picking patterns um, and a couple things obviously you can pick with finger picking which is just your fingers or you can use a pick and I, I typically use a medium pick, but you can use a light uh, pick as well if you want. Um, and then I also have a thumb pick as an option. So you can use various different ways to pick. So if I was going to pick, let's say, uh, the one we're going to start with, and I, was, and I could use a thumb pick for this first one, which is going to be, if I'm not going to use my uh, left hand, I practice like this. With a thumb pick. That's the, this is the four two three one pattern. You could also use a pick, and with this with this one, you could you could still do it. Like that. Or you could use your fingers. Like that. And I just encourage you to start. Um, if you haven't done picking patterns before, I would start with finger picking only. So just using your fingers. Once you get the hang of it with your fingers, then you can switch out and use a pick of some sort. Because then you can switch from picking to strumming. Like if you were going to use a regular pick, you could play... Like that. And obviously it doesn't sound good, but if I was playing a chord with it... switch off and do a fuller chorus if you wanted to or you could just do it soft with your picking your picking a uh, pattern so that's basically just to get you started uh, so anyway again as I was saying use your fingers in the beginning now if you've never done this before I would suggest that you learn um, the correct hand positioning first and uh, you know you have left hand and right hand if you're practicing learning how to do pick picking, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. In the same way that I suggest you do rhythm practice with your right hand first only, if you're having trouble with this, you might do it also uh, with picking. So, you know, usually if you're learning how to play the guitar and you aren't able to use the left hand very well yet, like switching between chords quickly, like say C to G to F, or if those chords are still challenging for you to switch between, and you're still learning that, but you want to be able to learn how to pick as well, I would encourage you to isolate the hand um, that you're having trouble with um, and work on just that part of the, of the pattern. So in this case, it's picking, and you don't have to have any left hand fingers um, on the guitar in order to, to work on picking and getting the rhythm down. So uh, with that being said, uh, I'll start with the first picking pattern. Um, We'll start with the first picking pattern using your right hand and the main gist of starting with this picking pattern with any picking pattern is you want to think of it like a thumbs up and when you're putting your hand over the guitar you want to turn your thumb where it's uh, the thumb is perpendicular to the uh, excuse me the thumb is parallel to the strings and the fingers are perpendicular to the strings so it's going the opposite direction of the strings or straight down and then your thumb is going in the direction of the strings. So really what happens is when you're actually picking your fingers are going to kind of come toward the thumb naturally because that's how your fingers are going to uh, move. Um, the, the main goal is that your thumb is about a quarter length outside in front of your other fingers so that you can move the thumb independently of the fingers and not 
get in the way. Like if your thumb is right next to your other fingers, it's going to be hard to pick fin uh, strings right next to the, the string that you're on with the thumb. So for instance, if I had my thumb right here over the fingers, it would be a lot harder to do to move quickly. It'd be a lot harder to get that because your, your thumb and your first finger are kind of in competition with each other. So try to keep your thumb turned out and your fingers back toward um, the middle of the sound hole or the back, even the back part of the sound hole if you need to. Um, your, uh, your elbow is also going to be important. If, you're, if it's down here, it's going to be a lot harder. You're going to end up picking um, back at the very back of the guitar, which gives it more of a, 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 a ting, and it's kind of, um, it's not as full, as, let's just put it that way, if it's over the sound hole. So try to get over the sound hole, move your wrist to where it's, uh, excuse me, not your wrist, but your elbow to where it's on the back of the guitar, and you bring your hand over like that. If you're kind of being lazy, you can do it like this, where it's a little further back, and you just have your fingers uh, relaxed over the top, but usually you might, you'll be sit, sitting more upright and you're kind of holding, balancing the guitar with your arm, um, with your right arm, without the left hand holding it up. So that's how you want to start with your picking pattern, where your uh, right arm is bracing it on, with your leg, and my leg is actually right here. It's up high, bracing it in the middle of the guitar. So, and I do have a foot pedal that I'm using to um, extend my leg a little higher than if it was just on the floor. If it was on the floor, it would look kind of like this, and it's a little more, um, uh, it's a little lower, but I have it up high, so uh, that'll get me more uh, sturdy in the chest, so it's not like as, as, uh, as loose. So okay, that's how you'd start with the thumb uh, parallel to the strings, and then the fingers uh, perpendicular like this, and then we will um, start with that first pattern that we were playing.